Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me, please. You have to listen to me. On Sif, on Amira, on the dogs. Huh? Huh? I'm not married to that thing. You're married to it. I'm tired of that. I think this this lady's crazy. Everyone keeps turning around crazy. Well, but she's jerking his chain. I mean, I get it. Anyways. So it is March 12, 2019. Time now is 10 42 hours. We are at Yonge County Jail. Reference case 19 016783. I am with Detective Dell and with Detective Lewis. And, sir, before we get started, can I just confirm your date of birth information? What's okay. your address? 11, well, I'm here. <laughs> okay. 112803. Is that a house or apartment? House. Yeah. Do you have a cell phone? I have two. I don't know. I don't know what. The new one I got was so. You're recording now? Yes. Okay. The new one I got was so that way I could. Stop getting phone calls. From yeah. Okay, but before you speak about that, I just right. want to confirm. We're going to get into it. Right. I just want to. I don't know what that number is off the top of my head, honestly. But the eight zero eight six. Is that a four seven number? Yes. Sir. Good. All right. <clears throat> All right. So again, just because you're you're detained, and I want to make sure that you you understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before and during questioning without charge. If you cannot afford a lawyer and want one, one can be provided uh, to you before questioning without charge. Has anyone threatened, promised you, or cursed you in any which way to get you to speak to me? No. Do you understand the rights that I read? I do. Excellent. Um, what? What is her relationship with you? She doesn't have one. Okay, what was her relationship with you? Okay. So, everyone got pen and paper ready? Recorder? Good. Detective Mastrangelo, Orlando Police Department. Angelo, you said? Yep. Very, very, very nice detective. Very good agent. Um, <laughs> that's why I'm fucking sitting here today. So, long story short, as you all know, I'm a sex offender. I'm the worst person in Orlando. So, I, I registered everything and I went on My wife and I, we've been married 15 years, believe it or not, because we're Muslim, we were looking for a second wife, but it doesn't really matter at that point, that's personal. So I made a username to get online onto the, to the is the same username that I use for my bank account and everything. So I didn't think anything of it. Apparently you have to register that, which I didn't know. So what do you mean you have to register that? You have to register that username. So With who? FDLE, I guess. Because I, you were a sex offender. Right. Okay, gotcha. So I didn't even know that. I, I didn't I don't even I didn't even know what an internet identifier was until this all happened. Um so I met her, we went out two times. <laughs> and she started asking for money right away. I immediately stopped seeing her and within a week she started demanding money. She started demanding shoes, she started demanding book bags for her son, on and on and on. And basically she was threatening to, because she figured out who I was somehow, some way, I, I haven't a fucking clue. Anyways, so she was threatening to damage my business with 
my information if I didn't pay her. So I was paying her and giving her money for a long time. Finally, my wife found out. She told me I needed to stop paying. What's your wife's name? Rania. Rania? Yeah. Um, immediately after I stopped paying, this nice young lady called the FBI along with Detective Mastrangelo, or well, called it in, that I was smuggling guns from Egypt, where my wife is from. So, and I go there every year. So she said that we were smuggling guns from Egypt and that, um, so of course they wanted to interview her. When they started talking to her, she advised them that we, so bam. They couldn't prove the guns because I'm not smuggling guns from Egypt. Um, but I didn't register the username. So two days later, Detective Mastrangelo, along with six other tactical outfitted men showed up at my door. So a year ago, this started this process. So they got me for a failure to register a user or an internet identifier. Okay. Um, she went away. She just disappeared for a while. All of a sudden, my court date got moved. She calls me out of the clear blue because she. this is one of the things she does. She calls. She's able to and I don't know how to do it or how to explain it. One of my employees explained it to me. It's called a spoof app. She calls from different phone numbers every time or she texts from different phone numbers every time. Uh, so she'll start a conversation with something out of the random because I have lots of clients that contact me through the, the phone via text or phone calls and she'll text me out of the clear blue out of something and I'll start along with the conversation and then she'll be like, oh, well, this is <laughs> Yeah, you know, so the point of the story is, is uh, she found out that they moved my court date and she's like, well, why did they move your court date? I was like, I don't know. Why don't you go ask them since you got me arrested? And then all of a sudden she's like, I want to be your wife and I want you to leave your wife. So then I have all those text messages I'm a felon, so who gives a fuck about my rights? Immediately after the police officer that I filed, Brian, Bur uh, Brian something ski with Orlando Police Aviation Unit, he came to the house. After I filled up, he, he was standing in my doorway, and she called advised them that I had literally just hurt her. But me and him had been standing in the doorway for three hours dealing with this. She called, as soon as I text her, he told me, you need to text her. Stop texting me. I'm with the Orlando police. I've called him, advised him. I need you to stop texting me or calling me at this time or anyone that I, you're, I'm associated with. And I went to two days later to verify the story. 20 minutes after I texted her that, she called the thing that I was trying to hurt her. Um, they, of course, didn't buy it. Um, they moved on. Anyways, long story short. So, <laughs> fucking two days after she he, he called her, she went saying that I was... <clears throat> so anyways that's where we're at the last time she teched, she called me the day that they transferred my court case again she called me from an unknown name number so I thought it was an, a police officer calling me in reference to the restraining order and um, it wasn't it was her and she's like what the fuck do I have to do to get you put in jail and so between all that time frame that was over the phone right yes okay between all that time frame, she's called FDLE, filed complaints, false. She's called FBI, saying that I was going to go to a group of people and commit a mass shooting and then do suicide by cop. Uh, bottom button, I can't. Special Agent Bottom out of the Orlando office. I went to go meet him. We talked. He said he knew it was bullshit. Um, I went to talked to the officer there. They said they knew it was bullshit. I, I've been in constant contact with Detective Mastangelo every time. He's with OPD SOS unit. Well, I, he's getting transferred. Um, I've been in constant, constant contact with him, advising him. And, and he, I know he can't give me advice, but off the record, he'll advise me certain things. And I'll call police departments and do certain things. Um, she's called uh, DCF. Four times now on, I have an employee, her name's Jessica. She's very educated, very good at what she does. 
I've put her in charge of one of my businesses that I have slowly potentially have started. Um, so she's in charge of that business. So again, I, the only thing I can think is she went on the, the, the Florida website to find our business license. She went on the Florida business license, found her name on it. Jessica? Right. Okay. And then immediately started filing false reports with DCF saying that on I was... Her. No, on me, saying I was touching her children. Touching Jessica's children? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> um, Jessica, I'm assuming, has children. Yes. She what's, has what's her last name? Bolden. <laughs> Bolden? Sorry. Yeah. yeah B-O-L? Bolden. B-O-U-L-D-N. Okay. She lives in Lakeland. Um... She currently is handling my business while I'm here. Um, uh, the DCF interviewed her children. One's three, one's five, or six. And, of course, <laughs> no, in, in no way, shape, or form have I done that. So, so let me ask you a question. When did you go on uh, to that you ended up with? Uh, Jessica? Jess, no. Almost two years now. Okay. Do you remember the, the month? In the year? I don't. So if we're in 2019, you're saying this happened in 2017? I remember it was cold when we met at the Millennium Mall. So I want to say yes, like December or something, but I can't be sure. Okay. Do you remember the name you used? Yeah, that was my username. That's the, okay. yeah, the, uh, so you were supposed to register. Let me ask you a question. Yes. What are you here for, Detective? Are you here to find me, for give me more charges, or are you here to figure something out? Well, like I said, your name came across in an investigation. What's the investigation? Um, if you give me a moment, I will get into that. I just really want well, to figure I out. I keep giving you more answers, and now okay. I'm starting to think that maybe this conversation is going the wrong direction for me. When was the last time you me? slept with or had sex with? Uh, yes. The, the last time was the, the second time we went out. That was years ago. So so when you say years ago, you're talking about... Before she filed anything with Detective Mastrangelo or anything. So in 2018, did you sleep with her? No. Did you sleep with her and have sex with her in 2019? No. Okay. Have you seen her like in person in 2019? She stopped by my office unexpectedly, and we have it on video at my office. Do you know when that was? Um... <clears throat> that was uh, this year no 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 it was no it was this year because it was after the I, well maybe it was 2018 because it was after I got arrested shortly after I got arrested she came to say that she was really sorry she did that I also have text messages where she says and I submitted them to Detective Mishrangelo along with the videos where she's demanding money because all my vehicles have cat dash cameras and all of my men and me wear body cameras and she knows that so everything that's recorded in my cars is is legal. Okay. So, and I I've, I've submitted video after video to Detective Mastrangelo where she's demanding money and hotels and stuff like that. And I'm telling her we're we're not together. And and uh, I've submitted the the uh, text messages where she says I'm so sorry I've done this to you. I I've, I've hurt you so bad. I I'm a bad person. I love you. I wish you can forgive me. All all that kind of stuff. Did you have sex? Did you see her in 2019? I don't believe so. Did you have sex with her in 2019? No. So if I told you that she's saying you had sex that with her? That would be in the same statement she wrote. She said I had sex with her in an ambulance at my office. Okay. So um, that yeah. never happened. Never so fucking happened. So tell me about your ambulances. Those are new? What are we asking are about you? there? Well, that's what she says. You had sex with her. Okay. So she's saying that this happened in the ambulance, of one of them. Right. When did you purchase those ambulances? I purchased those, oh man, 2018 sometime. Okay. And the one Summer. time she showed up to the office, they were already there. They were still old NYFD ambulances. They hadn't been done up or painted or anything, but they were there. When she showed up. None of them were painted? I'm sorry? No, neither one had been painted over? Not when she showed up the first time. Okay. When did you paint them over? Or that time. 
Um, oh, I'm assuming pain because it's, it's a decal pain. Pain decals. Okay. Um, it's it's been an ongoing process for about eight months. You know, they're not active. They're just sitting and we're building them out until Jessica gets certain things done. When was the last one painted? The last one was painted, I don't know, three months ago, four months ago. And when Ford would have put it in 2018. No, then, then it wasn't in January, so it had to be, yeah, it was January, somewhere in January. February. The last one was painted? Roger. Okay. Have you had sex in it with anyone? Yes, I have. Was no, it was not. Do you remember who it was with? And... Yes, my wife. Okay. Um, to celebrate. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me ask to you, celebrate you, the you, fact that we ha we got you, the you ambulance. Got, what's what's? Because I understand you have a security agency. I don't own a security agency. That the is Metro. Incorrect. We're not a security agency. Oh, I'm sorry. What, what is We're it? a state-approved vehicle protection agency. So we don't do security. We only okay. do high-risk transportations and funerals. Okay. So what do you plan to do? Is it going to be something similar with the ambulances? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Um, does, has Jessica ever met? No, but she would like to. Especially since they've yanked her three or two children out of school three different times and interrogated them with police officers. Is which, Jessica at work? Does she work at the North Orange Blossom? Uh, no, no. She's a, she's a head supervisor at um, an insurance company in Lakeland. Would you have a number for her? She has currently my office phone right now, so if you call the 808 number, she'll be happy to talk with you. Eight zero eight six five seven three. Roger. Okay. Um, I wonder, if I get anything wrong, correct me, because I'm, I'm like, going to go back with what you've told me already right. regarding your relationship. Uh, so you, mm -hmm. uh, you said two years ago. Right. And I don't know how that works, but some way, somehow, you get linked up with. <laughs> I guess you, like, you see her profile, or she sees yours. You guys talk oh, to each other. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm thinking bold. Uh, no, no. Yes. Yes. Okay, so you guys go out twice. Yes. We went to uh, a restaurant at uh, Hard Rock the first time. We went to the Millennium Mall to meet the second time. And she was telling me she needed money. She told me she was... But she wouldn't tell me the doctor's name because she knew that my wife... God damn it. Do you remember when you went to Hard Rock with her? I'm sorry? Do you remember when you went to Hard Rock with her? three weeks after we started talking or email, you know, texting and so stuff. So that would have been the end of 17, beginning of 18? No, no, I think it's more towards the end of 18, beginning of 19. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I honestly, and I'm not trying to lie to you, bullshit you, detective, I just can't really remember. You remember the it, second one that you went to the mall? The second time we went to the mall was about a month or about three weeks after we went to the restaurant. And the mall, if you want to do it that way and kind of track it from the mall to when I told her I'm not giving her any more money was about a month. And then Detective Mastrangelo showed up at my front door two weeks later. So whenever I got picked up on this. So, but when you tell me a month that you told her you would give her no more money, is that a month after the Millennium Mall or a month after Hard Rock? No, the month after she was demanding money for a long time, and then I told her I can't. I'm not doing money anymore. I can't give you any more money. They, she was asking for shoes for her son. For her, you know, she was like, he needs a. Was she holding for, anything above your head? Yeah, or? she was gonna tell my funeral homes that I'm a sex offender. Okay. Because she found I, the only way I can think she found out that I am that is she pulled my because I had my business car. She pulled my my business license, just like she pulled my business license or our business license for ESU. That's that's the only thing I could. That's for a very evil person. She's very good with the internet. Okay. So, Detective Angelo. Mr. Angelo. Is it, is it Master? Angelo? It's Master Angelo. That's his first name, Master. No, no. Oh, no. his last name is Master, Master Angelo. Angelo. Okay, thank you. 
what happens with so he comes and, and basically he charges you for failure to register an internet identifier. Right. Which is which is because you're a detective, which is the the nice way to get a search warrant instead of searching a house for guns that you have no proof for, you go ahead and file a charge which sticks to the wall because you actually have that. Then you use that to go search my house and all my shit. So because the last time he had a reason to file, you know, failure to register was my passport. I went to Egypt and came back and he's like, hey, stupid, you forgot to register your passport. I'm like, oh, I, I honestly didn't know. They, they come out with so many fucking rules every, every year that I can't keep track. So I went down to register my passport. He's like, thanks. So I said that to him in the interview. I was like, detective, why didn't you just call me and say, hey, you forgot to come register your internet identifier? We both know why you did, because you wanted to get the search warrant, because you believe that she said that I had the guns. And you utilize that to go. Do you remember what year that was in? That was last year, because it's only- 2018? Yes, sir. Okay. So when did you try to pop And by then she had already- she, when he was standing in the doorway right. talking to me. Yeah. So that, you, you went for your uh, um, So. Yeah, I was just saying that's the same, the same day that she called. Just, you just. Said well, now, the officer, the, uh, his name's Brian. I'm sorry, I don't remember his last name. It's Ski something. Uh, he was standing in my doorway because dispatch sent him to my home. Because what happened was F, uh, DCF had just taken Jessica's children out of school and interrogated them the first time. Uh, she called me freaking out. And at that point, I was like. Was it on February 10th of this year, 2019, Orlando uh, Police Department went to the kids' school, pulled them out of class? Mm -hmm. No, in Lakeland. They Lakeland were Lakeland Police. PD. How did Orlando Police get involved? Well, when Jessica called me and told me that. Did you call him? Because here's the thing. The, the, the DCF agents that showed up, of course, it's anonymous but they advised Jessica that off the record, just like they have all three times. So, when did um, he had me fill out the information online and then we got it notarized at the OPD substation three days later, so. Right, that, the day he was standing in my doorway, that day. And then when the Orlando detective, I don't know who he was, he called me talk to me um, when he talked to me he said he was gonna call her and advise her to leave me alone you know and, and go over everything the next day so she was saying that since February 10th have you had any contact with her no How about before February 10th January no other than she called me that one day and said what do I have to do to get you put in jail okay and so, the text messages that but she was as sending. far as seeing her no how about in December? I, no, I don't. I don't believe so. Yeah. You said that she. The last time she went to your office, you have it on video. Video. Mm -hmm. How can I get a copy of that? Like, where's that video? Um, and as well as the text messages you're telling me. About. All the text messages are with OPD already. Okay. So. Um, uh, How about a copy of that video? The video. The only way I can get that is I don't even. No, it is. It's on a data stick. I was going to take it to the courthouse, and every since everything Jessica been going, will be able to help me with that. Probably not. Um, I honestly don't know where it is, sir. Um, so when you say it's a data stick, you're talking like a thumb drive, right? In your office somewhere? No, it's not in the office. It's at my house somewhere, but I just don't know where it is. Do you know um, for sure it's in your home? I don't. I really don't. Um. I know it's. I know I videotaped it on my phone. Also, where's your phone? Jessica has my phone. Oh, that's right. So let me ask you a question: Is your audio, is your security system for the office constantly running? Yes. How far back will it save? I think five days, six days. So you have to. If you don't save it, it's gone. Right. So I couldn't look at for something in January. No. Okay. So. How was the date to Hard Rock? How'd that go? Good. She said she liked me. You know, she she told me. Um, and that's when things kind of got weird because I 
I, I could have sworn I saw her get dropped off. And I was like, did you drive here? And she's like, yeah, I have my own car. It's in the parking lot. And then some of the things she was saying didn't make sense. Like she had her own car, she had her own money, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, that's fine. Um, but then the second date, you know, after the first date, we, whatever, anyways. When you say whatever. You, you know, you after dinner, we had, yeah. Okay. After dinner. Um, then the, the next date, between then and then, though, we were talking, and she kept asking for money, and I was like, why would you need my money? Um, Let me ask you, was she straight out saying, hey, give me, can you give me 100 bucks, or was she like yeah. trying to cry pity so that you would? Both. She was doing both, where, you know, my um, And I didn't want to, that's why when we went, <laughs> my, myself and my lawyer actually went to OPD headquarters, Right now, we can't upset her. We can't get her to the point where she's upset and then she's making false statements, which is already what she was doing. So, you know. So let me backtrack. How was the date at Millennium Mall? That's where I told her I didn't want to see her anymore. But she had already been asking you for money prior. Right. Okay. So you tell her you don't want to see her. I told her, I said, I, you know, you keep asking for money. I, I really don't have it. I own my own business. Just because I own my own business, I'm in the red more than I'm in the black. And she didn't believe me. And, I, and she kept asking for money. And I was like, I can't give you. Did she tell you what it was for? Uh, she kept telling me that she needed a place to stay because she was thinking about leaving her husband. And she's like, he took her car away from her and all this stuff. And okay. later on, I found out that was none of that was true. But that's neither here nor there. How'd you find out? Um, she, well, she kept texting me, you know, for a while and calling me, asking for hotels and stuff and demanding money for hotels and stuff. And I was like, you told me this husband. She's like, well, that was a lie. I never had a husband, blah, blah. I am not married, blah, blah. She's like, I wanted to do it with you. I wanted to have a relationship with you. And I'm like, we only went out two times. How can you decide that? How can you expect me to leave my wife of 15 years or, or bring you into our marriage? Because that's what she was hoping, that we were going to bring her into our marriage. And and that would have included staying with you? Right. Okay. Right. After the Millennium Mall, did you have sex with her? No. How many times have you had sex with her? Once. And where did you have sex? We had a hotel. We rented a hotel um, right down the street from the Hard Rock Cafe. Um, I don't remember exactly the, the hotel, but it's right. It's in the Universal area across the street behind Ale House. Remember how much you paid? No, I don't remember. I'm assuming you paid? Of course. Yes. Do you have an Uber account? I do. Uh, when's the last time you used Uber? Uh, or, um, when's the last time you used Uber as a charge? Not for yourself, just to pay for uh, She wanted to come to the office, and that was when we, okay. I paid for her to come to the office. Okay. When was that? Um, I don't remember, but she brought her son. She brought her son, and I was on the phone with Jessica the whole time, and I was like, she just showed up. When was that? And I stayed on, I was on the phone the whole time with Jessica. How long did you stay there that time? Um, 20, 30 minutes, maybe, no more, I can't say, I don't want to say purpose, an hour. purpose of her visit? Uh, she was there to ask for money and tell me that she was really sorry, that she didn't want, she wanted, she was in the process of talking to the state of Florida to tell them that um, I didn't do anything, that I wasn't doing anything, you know what I'm saying, and that she was wrong, because she, she admitted to... Well, that's what she told you she was doing. Right. No, 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 I got the emails and I sent them to the detective also where she's contact, and my lawyer has them too. She was contacting the state prosecutor's office telling them that she lied, that there was never any guns. And who, the, who, who's your attorney? Uh, Amir Layden. L-A-D-I-N? Uh, uh, -E, uh, e n No, I-N, sorry. So, um, she, um, Wait a minute. Yeah, what are you talking about? You just pulled somebody over like a week ago. That was a week ago. 
Oh my god. I don't know. I just don't want you to like draw attention to yourself. It's our job. It's your job. I get phone calls all the time. People, People call you? Fuck yeah. What your they say? Your officer did this, your officer did that, your officer did this, your officer did that. Your officers don't pull people over, do they? Of course. Oh my god, I thought it was only you. They shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> it's, it's horrible. Is it legal? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. If it wasn't legal, then we wouldn't Were you trying to kill me? <laughs> Anyways. But that wasn't me. She was, she was coming to tell me, she had just texted me a couple days before that, or no, that was, so this was all before Brian, the officer, the OPD officer. Um, okay. She just texted me that she was sorry for what she was doing. She wanted to see me because she wanted to tell me she was sorry. She came with her son and she was telling me and she started crying that she wanted to try to work it out between us and she wanted to fix it. Um, she wanted to uh, continue to tell the state that I hadn't done anything. Um, she showed me the emails that she sent to the state, then she emailed them to me. Um, and that was it. Okay. Um. How did she leave? Uber. You paid it. Raj. Any concept of when? <clears throat> 2019? It was before, it, it, it was before Officer Brian. So Brian came in February. Of this year? Right. Okay. So uh, it has to be the end of, of December, or 18, I mean. Because that would be on your bank statement or your Uber mm -hmm. statement. I, I guess I don't know how that works, so I would say yes. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I'll shoot in the dark. I'll say January twenty eighth because that's what she wrote on the um, statement to um, saying that she came on the twenty eighth of January and that. I did all these things to her. You but said, she said in the statement, it was consensual, but then she didn't like it. So well, but you're look, here, you know so that concerns me. There? That tells me that she's telling you guys that it wasn't consensual. Yeah. Interesting. Well, she, yeah, she's saying it wasn't consensual. Right. Absolutely. But we didn't have sex, so it... it Do you know who that de deputy or detective was? Uh, Whoever wrote the report, came to speak to you, whatever it may be. They didn't come to speak to me. I called. I don't remember the other thing, but I knew right away that I needed to call SOS. So I called SOS, and I'm trying to talk to a detective, and he was telling me that, don't worry about it, she probably won't show up. So you said your hearing had been moved? For this case, correct. From when to when? Oh. February? No, no, because that... She was already contacting the state in February, early February 10th, Brian. I think my hearing was supposed to be the 15th of, of February. But see, it was 30 days before that. It was, it was January 15th. That was when this all started. She had gone black. I hadn't even talked to her since January 15th, or before then. I mean, she, then January 15th, they moved my court case. And they sit, and she called me in the clear, out of the clear blue and said, uh, why'd they move your court date? And then she, I even sent him the, the text message where she sent it to me after I hung up on her. Um, they gave me a new prosecutor. You told her? No, she told me that. I oh, didn't. That even, they gave you. I didn't even know that. <laughs> Do you know why they moved it? I, apparently, to give me a new prosecutor. I didn't even know that. I honestly didn't even know that. 
and she told me that. So you say she contacted you January 15th? Correct. And before that, how long had it been since you spoke to her, dealt with her? When I got arrested, um, no, because she was demanding money again. And when we went to go see Detective Mastrangelo with my lawyer at the OPD headquarters, because after they arrested me, she said that she, she kept demanding money and asking for a hotel, and I have that all in the videos. Um, and I submitted those to Detective Mastrangelo. After that, she went black. It, she just disappeared for like almost, I don't know, six or eight months. And then when I, the first court date I was supposed to have, when it got moved, she called me. And then it just started again. She just started asking for money again. She started asking for a hotel again. Um, she told me in a long text that she was with a boyfriend that was beating her and he was raping her and she had PTSD because of it. Um, this is January 15th. Uh, oh, you know, a couple like, days after, after she the 15th. Spoke to you? Okay. Right. After she She's came texting out of the black. Me. She is texting me. Where are those text messages? Those are submitted also. Uh, uh, to OPD? Yes. To Angelo? Yes. Okay. Um, and then she's like, I. She's like, um, I want to kill myself. I'm on pills. Um, and I was like, she's like, I want to. She's like, can I come stay at your office and live at your office? And I was like, no. <laughs> you can't stay at my house, my office. I was like, it doesn't even have a bathroom. Our office doesn't. You know what I'm saying? It's more of a garage, a warehouse than an office. Has she ever been inside your ambulance? No. Uh, when's the last time somebody was in one of the ambulances? We're in them almost every day, getting them ready. So even though you're here, someone is. Oh no! Within the last, well, since I got arrested, I guess no one would be in them. Okay. Prior to that, you were in it. Yes. Anyone else? My. Wife. I know your wife. Right. Okay. Anyone else? No. So who, when you say getting it ready, it, it's you doing the work. Yes. Okay. So pretty much this year, it's been you and your wife in there. Well, when we moved them, you know, the guys that drove them and stuff like that. But, but yeah. that was in 2018? Uh, yeah, yeah. Would there be any reason for DNA to be inside those ambulances? No. Okay. Um, you, earlier, way earlier, um, you said that she made an accusation to the FBI you were selling guns, selling guns from Egypt? Smuggling, yes. you were going to suicide by cop? Right. When, when did she make that allegation? Um, that would be, she sent me a text message January, or, fuck. A couple days after Brian, and then she, think, she sent me a text message saying, and it was the, it, and I'll remember the words. I was stupid to think that you were going to make me your wife. I was stupid to think you were going to bring me into your family. I was stupid to think you loved me. That's over now. I'm going, er, that will all change now because I'm going to send these emails tonight. Immediately after she sent that text, the emails tonight, the prosecutor that she was dealing with, with my lawyer, she was telling them all good things, being being supportive, telling them anything they needed, you know, to help them, telling them that she was misrepresenting the facts, she didn't know about what was guns and what wasn't, all that bullshit. Wait a minute. Go ahead and leave now. Honey. Okay. It does not Huh? That's not your gun, is it? Yeah. That's your gun? Yeah. Honey, don't. I'm scared. Don't. Do you have... What is that? It's a flashlight laser. That's a gun? Yeah. Holy shit. I thought it was like a, um, what's that thing called? Not a flare gun. What is it called? Um... Taser? No, because I know they're bigger than that. Wow. Do all the guys have? Honey, this place makes me nervous. I want to go. <laughs> it makes me nervous. Wait. Fact. Hold on, wait. But that wasn't me. 
she immediately sent a tech uh, email that night to them saying that I was trying to force her to be good or whatever, you know, uh, talk nice to the state. Then she immediately sent an email to the FBI saying that I was going to do suicide by cop. That's the 10th of February? Uh, ele 11th, 12th, yeah. Okay. Um, and then she also sent an email to, or then she called. So she did like three or four things that day uh, when, when I texted her. And that was why we were trying to avoid that. But that's the address that you gave me before that you live at? Yeah. Uh, in the Orlando Police Department jurisdiction? Yes. Or Anything else I should know about this case? The fact you're calling it a case concerns me, but I mean, are we, what are we doing, detective? Uh, so she, what, what she's alleging is that on January something, uh, you invited her to look at your new ambulances. Uh, one was painted, one was not. You took her into the one that was painted, to lock the door, left the kid inside the office and forced her to have sex. Uh, you wanted her to, you wanted a climax in her mouth, she wouldn't let you, and then you ejaculated all over the floors and walls. Huh. So. It doesn't, it just doesn't stop. That's my investigation. That's the same thing she told me. And see, I was un completely unaware of that. So now I have to reach out to her. Hey, you have a report on either one of these two people. Look look that over. Uh, you see me, you and I got to go speak to Detective Master D'Angelo. She's not going to stop. Um, She's just, she, and, 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 I, and I, I questioned the judge the other day. What can I do to stop her? She keeps filing false complaints and false reports. Yeah. And, and. And sooner or later, yeah, everyone's looking away and saying she's full of shit, but sooner or later, somebody like you is going to come and file a fucking real warrant for me, and I'm going to have to pay thousands of dollars and fight my way out of it. Let me ask you this. So you told me that there should be absolutely no reason why her DNA should not be, it would be inside the ambulance. None. Okay. Would you give me permission to go into the ambulance to check for her DNA? Sure. It won't be today, but where would the keys be? It would be ESU 1, which that's the one that was painted. Here's the other thing. <laughs> she knows the VINs to my vehicles. How does she know that? I don't fucking know. Because she, Detective Mastrangelo, on my birthday, called me. It was my birthday. He called me and said, FDLE said that you have... Uh, Ambulances. I was like, how the f detective, how is that? He's like, you need to come register. See, you see how nice it is that I can come register everything when it's not trying to get a fucking search warrant. All right. yeah, anyways, so anyways, um, he's a, a very good guy. Um, so he, 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 um, he tells me that she called FDLE with the VIN numbers. And here's the thing. The business is mine, but on paper it's not. So I don't know if that makes sense. On paper it's Jessica's? Right. So nothing, I don't own anything. But, so back to what I was saying. So I went down and registered the ambulances, you know what I'm saying? But she has the VIN numbers to the vehicles. She pulled the VIN numbers from my other vehicles. So that means, and I went back and looked at the video cameras, but for the three for the three or five days that I could go back, I never saw her. So, but she's come in there, she came there on her own somewhere, sometime, without us being there, and wrote down my VIN numbers to call FDLE. Did the cameras catch anything? No. So you said ESU one is where the one that was painted. Correct. Where would the keys be for ESU? In the office. If you nicely ask Jessica, right, that's what I'll I'm... get it squared away where you can go and do what you need to do. So, so Jessica would meet us. And... Right. So we don't have to kick in yeah, doors that, that's and exactly shit like that. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm asking because, look, the, least, the last thing I want to do is add to your headaches you're having. Um, you promise everything we spoke about is the truth? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yes, it concludes.
love you with all my heart. Jeremy, you have to be honest. You have to... Never mind. I have it on a body cam downloaded. All my guys have pepper balls. Now, I won't lie, I am stringing her along. Sergeant, get your lieutenant, please. I have it on a body cam downloaded. Anyways. That's the way the judge has said it.